Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. We are doing Bible reading, and uh, we're in 2 Corinthians. We're on the final chapter, chapter 13. So always um, the apostle would end with a farewell and a benediction. So just like any, if you were writing an essay, you'd close your point, make your final statement. And he's making a final statement here. And again, he's been defending his ministry, chastising a church that had let some deeper sins in, plus some rebellion and uh, against his ministry. So he's, he's uh, saying that again as he closes. And he's telling them he is coming. And uh, he hopes, you know, that when he gets there, he doesn't have to be so strong with him that if need be he will be strong with him he's called by the lord to deliver the gospel but to admonish and um, be be strict with that gospel with what god's called us to do and uh, so he is still taking a strong hand with this church let's read it second corinthians chapter 13 this is the third time i am coming to you in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. I told you before and foretell you as if I were present the second time, and being absent now I write to them which heretofore have sinned, and to all others, that if I come again I will not spare. So the warnings have gone out to come out of fornication, repent of it, and uh, they've been told they should have uh, obeyed and uh, repented and be back on track with the Lord. And that is what he's telling them to be. Verse 3, since you seek a proof of Christ speaking in me, which to you word is not weak, but is mighty in you. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth by the power of God. For we also are weak in him that we shall live with him by the power of God toward you. Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobates. So that is our good scripture for our day and time right now, the times that we are in. Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. You know, as we're reading the Word of God, that's that's what we're measuring up to. This Word is our plumb line, how to get lined up with the Lord. So as we read this, are, are we in these things that he scolded the people for in the church? Then we've got to come out of it. He says, unless you're reprobate. You know, if you're reprobate, your conscience is seared. You can't really hear these admonishments and truths anymore you sin so much you've turned your uh, um, self away from hearing the lord's voice so much that there's a place where the lord just lets your conscience be seared he lets you be reprobate that's what you want well okay verse six but i trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates now i pray to god that ye do no evil not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though we be as reprobates. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. For we are glad when we are weak, and ye are strong, and this also we wish, even your perfection. Therefore I write these things being absent, lest being present I should use sharpness according to the power which the Lord hath given me to edification, and not to destruction. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Well, this is a good final admonishment for you and I in these times that we're in. So let's read verse 11 again. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, Live in peace, and the God of love and peace shall be with you. Praise God. 
That is a good meditation verse for today. Greet one another with an holy kiss. All the saints salute you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, thank you for the word. Thank you for all the instruction that we have gleaned reading these books the last several weeks. Your word is powerful, and it's given for instruction in righteousness, so let us hear it. It's given for reproof, so let us be corrected where we've thought the wrong way about your word as we see you outline something very specifically to us. Help us adjust that we are aligned with your word, your will, and your purposes in our lives. Father, thank you for correction. Thank you that this word will thoroughly furnish us with what we need to walk righteously. And uh, we love your word, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We thank you for atoning for our sins. Thank you for the sacrifice you made that we could be covered by your blood that when the Father looks at us, all he sees is your righteousness and not our sins. We are so grateful. Father, thank you for having fellowship with us. Holy Ghost, thank you for leading us and guiding us into all truth. Thank you for comforting us, instructing us, and uh, showing us things to come, that we are prepared for what is ahead of us, Lord. I pray right now over everyone listening that their spirits are prepared, Lord. Their hearts are prepared for the troubled times that are going to intensify now and uh, that they are drawing close to you to hear your voice, to be sheltered under your wings. And uh, just let the people of God know and feel, Lord, we do need to feel sometimes how much you love us. Even when we don't feel it, though, Lord, we We've learned to trust you. We've learned to know that we can trust you with all of our heart and lean not on our own understanding. We've learned that we will acknowledge you in all of our ways and you will guide our paths. And we count on it, Father. We pray for the lost souls. We pray for all those we love and care about and have prayed for, Father, that you draw their hearts and we know you are. I am thankful for the work you're doing in my family, Lord. I am so grateful. Thank you for this salvation. Thank you for mercy and truth. Thank you for reaching down and getting me, Father, and having mercy. I love you so. In Jesus' name, I pray for all listening that if they have not turned their heart to you yet, that they would call on you today, Jesus, that they may be saved. In Jesus' name, we ask all things. Amen. Jesus loves you so much. I love you. Be blessed in your day today.